going to take section through the head to show the layers of the brain. This is the upper part. I'm removing it. You can see the bones of the skull here. And this is the brain tissue. The outside is gray matter, which is a neuron. Inside, white matter. This is hemisphere. And this is the another hemisphere with the central sulcus and the other central sulcus. Between hemispheres, longitudinal fissure, which is occupied by this structure, phallax cerebri. And you can see section of the superior sagittal sinus, and here is the other part. Going more in sections, the same hemispheres you can see with phallic cerebri in the middle, and you can see these fibers, which are the corona radiata. They are corticospinal fibers or tract, and we call them corona radiata. Going more, I can see two cavities inside the brain tissue. They are the lateral ventricles, the left and the right one. In between, uh, there is septum pellucidum, and you can see the fibers here passing from one hemisphere to the other. These are the forceps minor and the forceps major, and the uh, uh, two parts of the corpus callosum. And only anterior and posterior part of the phallus cerebri, uh, I can see here the inferior sagittal sinus. Going more in the sections, I can see very clearly the anterior horn of the lateral ventricles and the posterior horn of the lateral ventricles with the choroid plexus inside. And this is the septum pellucidum in the middle. I can see other structure here, which is the thalamus and the other thalamus here. And the head of the caudate nucleus, this is the tail of caudate nucleus. And the, from the fibers, they are forming internal capsule, internal capsule, anterior limb, and posterior limb. Anterior limb separates between the head of caudate and lentiform nucleus, while the posterior limb of the internal capsule separates between the thalamus and the lentiform nucleus. And outside this line, you can see this is the external capsule. External capsule separates between lentiform nucleus internally, and this black in color, we call it colostrum. All these parts related to the basal ganglia. More section, more section, I can see very big structure, which is the thalamus, and this is the posterior horn, posterior horn of the lateral ventricle, because it is lower down the anterior, and uh, this is, sorry, the inferior horn, I mean, inferior horn, which is lower down than the posterior and the anterior, still phallus, uh, uh, inferior sagittal sinus, superior sagittal sinus, and the uh, brain tissue. I can see anteriorly, there are two cavities inside the bone. This is the frontal air sinuses, frontal air sinuses. Going more, going more, this is only uh, a little part of the frontal lobe of the brain. Uh, this is the orbital cavity, uh, frontal air sinuses. This is the internal carotid artery. This is the optic chiasma, optic chiasma here, and the pituitary gland, pituitary gland. If you look here, this is the occipital lobe, occipital lobe, but here there is a different structure and different color structure. This is the beginning of cerebellum. This is the beginning of the cerebellum, and this is the brainstem.
going more uh, uh, you see this is the optic nerve optic nerve sphenoid air sinuses this is the internal carotid artery this is the internal carotid artery here is the uh, beginning of the brain stem with the basilar artery anteriorly this is a duct we call it cerebral aqueduct this structure is the uh, cerebellum this structure is the cerebellum uh, uh, this is the temporal uh, lobe of the brain, the temporal lobe of the brain, going more down. This is the remnant of the temporal, the lower part of the temporal lobe, the lower part of the temporal lobe, and here is the pons. How I know it? Because posteriorly, there is a cavity, which is the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle located between the pons anteriorly and the cerebellum, Posteriorly, you can see you can see the fissures transverse the run of the cerebellum, and posterior to them, this blue in color, this blue in color, this is the transverse venous sinus, the transverse venous sinus or sinuses. Going more in the structure, here, this is the cerebellum, cerebellum, and this is the occipital sinus located here. And this is the beginning of the sigmoid sinuses, sigmoid sinuses, and here is the sphenoid sinus and the lower part of the uh, temporal lobe. This is more uh, lower part here, uh, beginning of the joint, which we call it TMJ, temporomandibular joint, located here. And this is the uh, uh, cerebellum, and the lower part here started with the medulla oblongata, medulla oblongata, and this is the basilar artery.